All right, so as you guys know, Dorothy is coming to the game next. All right, this is honestly probably one of the bigger uh, releases or people like are more hyped for. I mean, just in general, seeing how like people are liking this tweet, like almost 700 for me. I mean, at this point in the game, even like considering how many followers I have, I mean, some people are like saying that they're going to come back to the game for Dorothy. Um, what is it? Uh, okay, wait, no, I swear I saw like might have to redownload. Okay, time to play the game again. Um, I don't know if uh, I saw more, but I know I saw like at least one. I think it might have been those two, but you know, I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And uh, Dorothy is going to be a pretty good unit. I could pretty I, I I could say that. Um, just looking at how the units are, I mean, I was already gonna. I was saying before. Well, not like in videos, but I was saying before to like people, right? Like Raya. Just just going off of this, like Raya is probably gonna be an A tier. Would make the most amount of sense. Um, I really do feel like Dorothy should be an S. I I just don't see her not being an S tier, given her kit. I think she is definitely an S tier unit. Uh, we're gonna obviously have to test her, but yeah, and with that, we have the patch notes. We have the full patch notes, the full update info, and we're gonna go over that. Let me move it a bit over and then squish this in a little bit. All right, there we go. So first of all, it's gonna open at 8 a.m. EST, so I'm not gonna be able to really showcase this. Unfortunately, right, I'm only gonna get back uh, eight hours later, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's their fault for pretty much putting maintenance further, so I can't even do anything in the morning, so it is what it is. 320 black crystals, we take it, and then chapter 15's coming, so an extra multi there, we take it again, and then up until October 8th, we're gonna be having Dorothy in the game, and she is a normal pickup, okay, normal pickup, not a fest pickup. Um, unless I'm tripping, it should just be a normal pickup because I, I just, I don't think it's a fest. It shouldn't be. So she, it says limited summon, but it also said that for Zora. It said that for everyone, right? So keep that in mind, right? It doesn't really mean anything. And I think if we go in game, um, if we check the notices, we could see a key difference in the wording for Asta's because Asta's says does it i don't even think it does they really don't like make it clear do they they really don't make it clear okay well never mind then but dorothy uh dorothy should be a uh, normal unit and not a festival so there's that um so we already talked about dorothy in this and uh, i mean she's gonna be good I, I think a lot of people should summon for her because this season goes on for a while and that means you're gonna have time to save because the next banner should be the summer units I mean, they might put a rerun in this uh, season, but it's going to be the summer units. So I'll probably make a should you summon in like two days. But yeah. So next up, uh, events. We got, um, what is it? Version update. Okay. Version update. Um, we got the seven day attendance. All right. Dreamy gifting event. So we got a gifting event. All right. Perfect. Now, let me let me just pull this up because uh, I just want to make sure I'm able to tell you guys what rewards are in what um, what game modes. OK, so we're going to talk about that. Um, I think this is pretty good that I'm able to like kind of share this info. So, you know, we take it. We take it. Um, so, OK, let me let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. So in the attendance, we're going to get uh, basically the same stuff. We get some summon tickets, but really not much. Now, in the gifting event, we're going to be getting black crystals. Um, LR gear summon chest, inventory expansion ticket, that to me is huge. Uh, SS SR to SSR mage skill page summoning ticket, SSR mage piece, and then talent engraving, engraving stone summon box. All right. Now then, emergency escape glamour world main event. It's the Dorothy main event that we saw like a while ago, right? A while ago. We're going to get summoning tickets, transcendent material, LR gear selection box, gear summon ticket, skill upgrade materials chest, SSR mage selection ticket, it says Zora, and then also SSR skill enhancement page. So we're getting both a selection ticket and the skill enhancement page. So we're getting a skill dupe and the skill SSR page selection. So this is probably going to be the best version of it, right? I, I think we could say that. I think we could. I think we could probably put the music a bit louder. Um, did not mean to open that. My bad. Um, all right, so now let's see dice event. Okay, so dice event is going to be giving um, Pretty much not crazy things. It's an SSR food selection box. So it's about this one's about gear and accessories. Okay, we're gonna have substat changing stones and some other stuff 
Now, random box event. Um, it's going to be giving some skill materials. So basically, yeah, skill materials, um, greater LR gear selection chest, greater gear upgrade stone, LR accessory summon chest, and then greater accessory upgrade stone, nothing too crazy. And then obviously, bingo, same old, same old. Now this is important, this is actually pretty important. So we got triple world boss, which I, please agree with me in the comments that this is horrible, right? It should like genuinely just... I, I don't know, because you realize no one, like, they need to realize no one's really, first of all, going to do it all three times because you have to take your gear off of Arena and put it back onto World Boss. It's good for gear, it's good for new players, but just in general, on concept, it sucks. It does. It really, 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 really does suck. I, I just, I, I don't get it. I, I, I don't. I don't. I, I don't, because... Three times, that's three weeks. Like, are you telling me you think that people are going to be doing this for three weeks? Three weeks. Like, come on. What the hell? So, yeah, this is bad. But this, this is good. This is huge. This is absolutely diabolical. So, Tower of Adversity, a 200 floor game mode. 200 floors, guys. 200 is coming out. Um, Finally, right? Finally. That's all I could say. Like, oh, my God. So here it is, here it is, here it is. It's coming out. I have not touched it on JP because I want to play first time on global because I'm like, why am I going to do 200 floors on JP only to do it on global? Unfortunately, it's not infinite, but maybe they're going to expand it. They should, but 200 floors is something we take, okay? And the rewards should be pretty good. So like this might boost rewards. Um, hopefully, and my if it gives like six to seven multis, I'd be happy. I would. I'd be happy with six to seven, but it should probably be more. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. What do you guys think for rewards? Because on, um, sorry if you hear that. I'm, I really hope the music is good. But on um, JP, it's giving, if I remember correctly, like 15 limited tickets, uh, 15 purple tickets, 15 yellow tickets, and then other reroll stone stuff. So we'll see what it gives on like uh, on global. Now, event arena, cool, I guess. Real time arena, great. And then squad contest. All right. Um, so I'm pretty sure the date is yeah, i'm pretty sure that's good yeah i'm pretty sure that's good um oh, i think this was supposed to be 2359 and not 0359 so that's a little thing and then new packs all right hopefully there's good packs and then battle pass and uh then we got some pretty interesting things um so we got the boosted mage all right so that's that's fine so i oh no wait this is in dispatch mode okay so if in dispatch you could get some extra like uh percentages for like gear percent or like a yule percent if you use certain mages for dispatch which is actually pretty much better for global than it is jp because jp we have boosted units like we already have these boosted units 125 like yami and stuff but on global no one really 125 the boosted units right now game optimizations could be huge Removed playtime event and shifted rewards to daily missions, which means all the crystals and stuff that we're, we get here is going to be in the dailies, which, guys, it's so much better because who actually is on BCM the, all, all the time for fit, like 90 minutes? It doesn't happen. Hideout income's accumulation time will extend up to 24 hours, which means that you're getting the same amount. It's just that you have more time to claim it. You get additional skill page exchange. Oh, wait. There's additional skill page exchange and buff exchange in the squad shop. I don't know what this means. Like, I don't know. We'll see. Then improved UI for monster skill cooldown. This is huge. Because now in PvP, you could see the enemy's skill cooldown. It's so big on JP, guys. I swear to God, it's so big. Now, I, I don't get what they mean by that. Because if we check, like, there's no skill page exchange here. So is it two separate things? If it is, does that mean... Because look, like, I don't know why they say that. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, wait, wait. Let me pull up JP real quick. Okay, so basically they added three skill pages into the shop on JP. And from what I remember, you get it. Oh, I have it. Yeah, I have not been playing, guys. Um, You get it. Where do you get it, bro? Am I tripping? Yes, so basically there's rankings now in squad contest. And if you get top 50% on JP, then you're able to buy at least one of these. And these are insane. This one is crit res. It gives 25 up to 50% crit res. Guys, and the problem with the, not problem, the crazy part about this is 50% crit res on, let's say, 150% crit res like unit. 
is going to increase it. Like, look, 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 look. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's. All right. So let, let me pull up uh, the calculator. So let's say you've got 150 crit res multiplied by 50. Your crit res is now 225. So those skill pages on support are going to be insane. Black Divider is going to get a bit nerfed with this. Think about it. You put that with Dorothy. Dorothy crit rate lower, 35%. And then a support now has 225 crit rate. Uh, the Black Divider is not critting. Black Divider is not critting. So this is huge. This is huge. Absolutely huge. Um, so yeah, the biggest parts of this update, this for sure. Um, squad contest now is actually useful. Um, obviously Dorothy. I'd say this giving the skill page universal dupe and a skill page selector is huge. And then, um, where is it? And then obviously Tower of, Adver of Adversity. So yeah, very good update in my eyes. Um, honestly, good. I mean, new game mode. I'm going to have fun playing it. I have not touched it yet. I'm going to have a lot of fun Tuesday and Wednesday. That is for sure. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.